Today I'm going to show what would happen if Yellowstone erupted at maximum force. So, first circle I want to show you is the 50 mile zone that if this were to explode at maximum force, this entire zone would be uprooted and it would just be a gaping hole in the ground. The magma would erupt through this. So that's 50 miles and it would cover parts of three states and obviously those parts would be completely ruined, destroyed, gone, and everybody in them would be killed instantly, although barely anybody lives there. Next part here is the zone where the magma would rain down and cover everything and just burn everything. So this zone would be entirely decimated. And this is 500 miles. This next zone is the 1700 mile ash rain zone where ash from this eruption would rain down. Life would probably be able to resume but only after a long recovery process in this zone. So it would rain ash and it would destroy a lot of things but I think eventually this zone would be able to recover. Now this last circle is the zone where the force of the eruption would break windows and other delicate structures. So in this zone, windows will be blown out. So this goes all the way to Panama. It covers the entire Greater Antilles with the exception of Puerto Rico. Almost all of Greenland. All of Alaska. And it even goes up to cover part of Russia. And it almost makes it out of all the way to Hawaii. So that's it. That's this is the damage if Yellowstone were to erupt. This area here would be completely ruined. This area would be also heavily damaged, but probably eventually be habitable. And this area would have broken windows and other minor damage. So there you have it. That's Yellowstone maximum force eruption, the destruction potential.